Ready to power up your robot projects like never before? Selecting the right energy source is crucial and we got you covered. Join us as we dive into batteries, solar power, level shifters and more. Boost your robot's performance and efficiency with our comprehensive guide on power sources and techniques. Don't miss out. Hey robot makers, today we're going to dive into one of the most crucial aspects of robot making, choosing the right power source. We've got a ton of options at our disposal, including batteries, book converters, solar power, wireless charging, level shifters, and even some low power strategies as well to maximize the efficiency of our robots. Our objective in this video is to provide you with the most comprehensive guide on these power sources and techniques to make the best decisions for your robot projects. So let's dive straight in and power up our robot projects. Let's talk about these classic energy sources for a moment. Alkali batteries are made up of zinc and manganese dioxide. They come in various sizes like A, AA, C and D and the PPA 9 volt battery variety. They are widely used because they are cheap, readily available and easy to replace. Some of the advantages of alkali batteries include their low cost, convenience and the fact that they are disposable. You can find them almost anywhere from local stores online resellers. However, there are some downsides to using alkali batteries in your robot projects. Their energy capacity isn't as high as some other battery types and the voltage output decreases as they discharge. This can lead to performance issues in robots that require a stable voltage. Plus, they're not the most environmentally friendly option due to their disposable nature. Now let's explore some other energy sources that are better suited for robot projects. Nickel metal hydride batteries or NIMH batteries are rechargeable batteries that are composed of nickel hydroxide cathode and a metal hydride anode. They come in the same size as an alkali battery but they offer some unique advantages for robotic projects. NIMH batteries have a higher energy capacity compared to alkali batteries which means they can power our robots for longer periods. They're also rechargeable making them cost effective and environmentally friendly in the long run. Their voltages remain stable during discharge providing a consistent performance for our robots. However these batteries do have some drawbacks. They are more expensive up front than alkali batteries and they suffer from self-discharge, losing their charge when they are not in use. Additionally, they are a bit heavier than alkali batteries, which could be a concern for weight-sensitive robot projects. With NIMH batteries in mind, let's continue exploring more energy sources and see which one best fits our robotics projects best. Now let's discuss lithium polymer or LiPo batteries. These batteries have become increasingly popular in the world of robotics due to their unique characteristics. LiPo batteries offer several advantages. They are lightweight and have a high energy density, which which means they can pack a lot of power into a small package. They also have a low self-discharge rate so they can hold their charge when not in use and they can deliver a high current making them ideal for power hungry robot projects. However there are some important drawbacks and safety concerns to consider. LiPo batteries can be more expensive than other battery types and they require special care. Overcharging, puncturing or exposing them to high temperatures can cause them to become unstable and potentially catch fire. When using LiPo batteries always follow the manufacturer's guidelines with a proper charger, store them in a fire resistant container and avoid over discharging them. By taking these precautions you can enjoy the benefits of LiPo batteries while keeping your robot projects safe. Now let's explore solar power as an alternative energy source for robotic projects. Solar panels convert sunlight into electricity providing a clean and renewable power source for your projects. There are various types of solar panel to choose from such as the monocrystalline, polycrystalline and thin film panels. Each has its own advantages and disadvantages in terms of efficiency, cost and flexibility. Consider your robot's power requirements operating environment and budget when selecting the right solar panel. For solar power robots, effective energy storage and management are critical. Since solar panels can only generate power during daylight hours, you need to find a way to store the generated energy for continuous operation. Now let's discuss book converters and their importance in robotic projects. Book converters are a DC to DC power converter that steps down the voltage from a higher input voltage to a lower output voltage while increasing the output current. They're incredibly useful in robot projects where you need to provide a specific voltage for your component and your power source has a higher voltage than required. By using a book converter you can effectively convert the higher voltage to the desired lower voltage. When selecting a book converter consider the factors like input and output voltage range, output current and efficiency. Ensure the book converter can handle the voltage and current requirements for your project and has an efficiency rating that meets your needs. Efficiency is crucial in book converters as a high efficiency means less wasted energy and less heat generated. But even with a high efficiency some heat is inevitable so it's essential to provide proper proper heat dissipation such as heat sinks to prevent overheating and maintain the converter's performance. Let's move on to level shifters and their role in robotic projects. 
effects. Level shifters are electronic devices that translate voltage levels between components operating at different voltages. They're essential when you need to interface components like microcontrollers and sensors that use different voltage levels to communicate. There are several types of level shifter including voltage dividers, dedicated integrated circuits and bidirectional level shifters. Voltage dividers use resistors to scale down voltage levels while dedicated ICs are specifically designed to convert voltage levels in a more efficient manner. Bidirectional level shifters on the other hand can convert voltage levels in both directions, making them versatile and useful for various applications. When selecting the right level shifter, consider factors like the input and output voltage levels, the signal direction, speed and power consumption. It's crucial to choose a level shifter that can handle the voltage range and speed of requirements of your robot project while keeping power consumption to a minimum. <laughs> Lastly, let's delve into low power strategies and their importance in robotic projects. Implementing low power strategies can significantly extend your robot's battery life and optimize its overall performance. There are several approaches you can take to minimize power consumption in your robotic projects. These include using energy efficient components, implementing sleep modes and optimizing software algorithms. By choosing energy efficient components like low power microcontrollers and sensors, you can reduce the overall power consumption of your robot. Implementing sleep modes allows your robot to enter a low power state when it's idle or not performing critical tasks. And finally, optimizing software algorithms can help your robot run more efficiently, reducing both processing time and power usage. It's essential to consider these low power strategies from the initial stages of your robot project. By incorporating energy saving techniques from the start, you can create a more efficient and longer lasting robot that meets your performance goals. Now that concludes the comprehensive guide on our power sources and techniques for your robot projects. With this knowledge, you are now better equipped to make informed decisions about powering your robots and optimizing their performance. Good luck and happy building. I hope you enjoyed this short video and I shall see you next time. Bye for now.